Hey there, welcome back and thanks for joining me. All my supplies and equipment are listed below in the description box. Most of them have links, so check that out. And if you like this video, hit that subscribe button. If you want to see the videos when they come out, hit that notification bell. All right, these are the colors I'm using. Fiesta and Vineyard because I already had them out. And Clover and Aqua just because, I don't know, they raised their hand first. I, I have no idea, I just picked. <laughs> they seem like a good choice. Okay. We're going to do our usual playing. But I got to get my... Huh? I need my Blanco. Hold on. Okay, I got it. Now, somebody was asking me about this. Um, I got these on Amazon. They are down in the description box. Um, along with these. So, you can get both ones. The Blanco does not do well in this one. It will clog it up because it's so tiny, but it does absolutely wonderful for the alcohol. This one's a little bit bigger, and you can keep cutting this down if you have to. All right, so there's that. Um, all right, let's get going because I, I want to I wanna play. I'm not using alcohol, so I need to put that up. Okay, my first things are the purple and pink. Well, they mixed. I'm a little out of practice. I'm just going to say, that's terrible. But it'll be fine, because we're going to do things over it. Now, see if that'll keep them separate. Yeah, that did good. Yeah, I'm a little rusty on this. I've been doing other stuff. I was amazed I hadn't blown the petals like the droopy flower or something like that in a couple months. And when I went back to do it, I couldn't hardly do it. It was like I had totally forgot how to blow the petals. That's all right. Let me put something here and see if I can't get this to show up. Okay. <laughs> nice. All right. I'm going to do maybe three of these. I kind of want to do, do I want to do a different color? No. I'm going to do this one. I'm trying to place the pink and purple to get maybe different effects and they still keep blending together so I don't I don't see it happening. But that's what plan's about.
Good. I put a little bit more white in that because I didn't want it to be the dark purple, but I wanted it to be something right there. That worked out really well. I was glad that happened. All right, let's start. I'm going to do one here, and it's going to overlap pretty good, which means I'm going to have to put more white in it so it won't be quite so uh, transparent. More white makes it a little more opaque, so it, I want it to look like it goes over. I'll try that. Let's do the white first, see what that does. Yeah, I think it's the same. I want to fix that. And that did not, so let's do it again. Oh, good grief. Hmm. need that fixed. I'm going to scoot up a little bit more even. What in the world? It just says, nope, we're not going to do it. kind of tedious. All right, I want some pink here. A little bit some pink right there. I like more pink. I think I'm liking more pink than the purple. All right, I'm I'm happy with that. Yeah, I like that. Really like that pink. Um, okay, well, let's go for this clover and aqua. See if we can mix those. Here's a good spot to try. Get my stuff ready. Well, 
here. I think I think they'll work or I already have to do green because I've already done it but I like the blue so let's do true drops blue maybe one drop of green here I like that the leaves are not the same darker lightness of that. Is that the hue? It's not the same. I like that they're a little bit off. needs to be filled up so I need to put maybe some pink there and fill that in That will work. Yeah, I like that. I don't know, something right there, maybe. Nah, by the time we get our stuff on. I think I'm going to do, I want to do an outline. Let me look at it through my camera. Yeah, I think we're going to do an outline. I want to use the brush and the Bombay inks. I like that. I like the marker, but I really, really like using the brush. So I had a number two. piece of paper. Number two. I could do some acrylic. I've already got these out. Acrylic would do really good. Acrylic's not going to activate this, but I don't know that the Bombay inks will, but on the other hand, we're outlining, so we're not doing a lot. 
So really, either either one of those, I think, would be fine choices. But I've already had these out. And they're a little more liquidier, thinner. So they do outline really, really well. Okay. So I've got a little point. I'm going to start with my obvious because it just makes it easier to get started. Um, let's make this one above this one. So I'm just going to go like this. See, I'm trying to be so t exact, and that looks yuck. Okay. That's okay. I'm not happy, but that's that is truly okay. I just wanted, um, I, I'm wanting more even stuff. No, no, no. Let that be thick. That's good. So this is where I want to get everything looking alike. <laughs> and then I do that. <laughs> I want everything looking alike, and it doesn't need to be. And see, that's cute. So, yeah, don't listen to me. All right. <laughs> yeah, just don't listen to me. All right. Um, the flower that's in front of all the other ones is this one, then this one, then that's in the back. So let's do this one first. I'm going to make that the center. It looks like it could very well be. Right. 
I'm gonna let that dry, and then we're gonna do the white, and then we'll do the centers. All right, the white's gonna be fun. All right, again, let's just My theory is if I do the leaves first, I've got some confidence to do the flowers. All right, let's start with this one again. And again, I'm in the middle of the brush. Half the time when I'm thinking my brush might be touching, it's not. So some of these things are just where I just keep trying it, going back over it, trying to get it to put down. But I like how the brush does. I, I went off on a weekend and I didn't take a lot of stuff. And so I had to do this with the brush because I didn't take any markers. And I was like, wow, I kind of like the thickness and thinness and the mix up of it and the whole look. And so that's why I started doing it this way. Now, let me see what I want to do for the centers. Um, I think I want to spray this. I'm going to use the Kmar. I'm going to spray this. I'm going to get it good and dry, spray it, because then I want to come back over it with like a white and maybe do a bright pink in it. So, let me do that. Okay, I have it sprayed, have it dried. So, let's do the centers, get them dried. I just put some farther out because you know the flower has those things and they spread out and yeah that's all I did 
All right. Yeah, I'm kind of liking it like that, but I do think it needs something with it. And while none of this is realistic, I still want to make it at least visually pleasant. So I don't want to have, you know, a center that really bothers you because I've seen things like that and it's like that center just bothers me. So, I want to make something that at least blends with everything, and, um, yeah, I think so. Now, on this, um, I don't put these in pallets. I put them on a paper plate or a piece of paper because once they're dry, they're done. That's it. I mean, alcohol, you could take them off, but I'm not going to clean a pallet. So, in all reality, treat it like acrylic that you're not washing off. You need to toss a palette. Uh, I think that may be all I do is kind of do that. Just hit some in the middle of the white. Yeah. I think that's all I'm going to do. Hmm. I think I may leave that. I think I kind of like that. Unless, oh, you know it would be pretty? Blue. Maybe uh, to bring in this. That's teal. I have blue. I have green. Yeah, let's try it. Who knows? That looks black. Okay. Not a good idea. If it was lighter, it would be, but not, not so much. Okay. Never know till you try. All right. I think I am calling that done. All right. Y'all go have fun.